I've always treasured freedom in this country. But there are forces working in our midst today. And they plan to overthrow the system's natural status quo by agitating, demonstrating, striking, picketing. And so we feel the time has come to make our declaration in defense of freedom, property, and nation. Some are free to own the fruits of others' labors. Some are free to do a job and toe the line. Some are free to rig the races, free to deal themselves the aces. Some are free to soldier on while others trample on their faces. It's a matter of survival of the fittest. And the fittest are the ones who grab the quickest. Have you ever paused a moment to consider All the burdens borne by those who own this land? Each stock market fluctuation complicates the situation Keeping track of all that money is a full-time occupation For a nation cannot be described as healthy Unless its wealth belongs to those who are wealthy When the front is busy fronting for the Tories and the cops are busy backing up the front. You must understand that function is to strike without compunction all those aliens from Bangladesh, West Brom and Clapham Junction. And by beating up all those in opposition, they're defending our most glorious tradition. When a hero rises up and digs his heels in, Puts the boot in, in that good old-fashioned way. When he starts on union fashion, you can bet he'll get the backing of Keith Joseph and his cronies. No assistance will be lacking in our hero's personal fight for liberation. Against the malcontents opposing exploitation. But don't imagine we're opposed to all trade unions. There are some we look on with a kindly eye. When a union is controlled by leaders who've been bought and sold, then it's a treasure beyond measure worth ten times its weight in gold. But they can always be relied on in a crisis to sell their members out at bargain prices. When the day arrives that you become redundant, don't get angry with a boss and call him names. You must try to be objective, get the matter in perspective. See yourself as a component, just a cog that is defective. And with fortitude, accept the situation. That the junk keep is your natural location. They have always treasured freedom in this country. That's providing that the freedom is confined to the few who bleed the nation And while preaching moderation, sit there belching after feeding on the working population So when some fat cat talks of freedom on the telly Don't imagine he means you, not on your Nelly My father rented a piece of land that was on the Carrick border And he spent damn near all his fifty years trying to get the land in order Snow and hail and winter gale he couldn't get me rest He was just another struggling tenant farmer that wee bit firm was ill to work, it was coarse red clay and boulder. But at blink of day, he'd be up the brae with the north wind at his shoe there. Plowing, sowing, reaping, hoeing, wrestling with the clay. He was just a never daft like tenant firmer. The land was choked with when and dock, and the broom it took some shifting. 
So he tore and chafed, and he helped and slaved at the pooing and the lifting. Work and sweat and rent and debt and wife and bairns to feed. He was aye a weary, worried tenant, fair through the clay that had wheeled in the cooter's trace, the young green corn come peeping, and the barley thrived, and the corn grew high, and we all helped with the reaping. August through a neep stipu, there's I a job to do, when you're a single haunted tenant, fair mar. But for all the years, though his toil and sweat and the never-ending battle, he could not pay the bank he did, so they sell off his cattle. He damned the clay and cursed the day that ever he worked the land, the day that he became a tenant fermer. Well, what were the cost of the feeding stuff and the landlord's rent increases? They turned us out and they held a rope of all our bits and pieces. Your firm's our money, you sit on the owner needs the land. Times are changed, we didn't need a tenant firm. Now he's working on an assembly line. It's a queer like situation. For he works like hell, making things that sell for cash to feed the nation. It helps to buy the corn and rye and the kind of crops he raised in the days when he worked as a tenant farmer. It's a costly thing, so put it to use. Time, it's a precious thing, we haven't got much to lose. I took the time out to write you a song, but you took the time tonight to come on along. It takes more than time to make us strong, so time is all we need. So if you give a penny, give at least twenty. After all, it's only money you're giving away. The five P, ten P, fifty P pieces won't buy much with the prices today. A pound from each of you would save a neck. But if you're all squared up, just write out a check. If all you got to give is your own two hands, we'll find a job for you. Cause if you don't want to stand in the front line yourself, stand behind the ones who do. Useful thing, it takes a long time to earn. Money, it's a powerful thing, it doesn't take long to learn. Money can arrest you and throw you in jail, but money pays fees, fines, and bail. It looks like liberty is up for sale, but money is no we need. Give a penny, give at least twenty. After all, it's only 
only money you're giving away. The five feet, ten feet, fifty feet pieces. It won't buy much with the prices today. A pound from each of you would save a man. But if you don't spread up, just write out a check. If all you gotta give is your own two hands, we'll find a job for you. Cause if you don't wanna stand in the front line yourself, stand behind the ones who do.
I followed his journey all the way home. His step at the door would nearly dissolve me. When he walked in, my judgment was come. I know there's two sides to every question. I may be wrong and he may be right, but he's got just two ways to settle the quarrel. One is his left, the other his right. The doctor says he needs my understanding. The police seldom challenge a man in his home. Everyone knows him. No one defends me. After the altar, a wife's on her own. I wonder, I cry, I pray I may die. I run up to strangers to talk in the road. Three kids and no money, so how can I leave him? I lose my kids if I've got no home. Sometimes he's loving, sometimes he's caring. Sometimes it seems our marriage may mend. And then in the night I'm lying and wondering how soon will his fists be at me again. The last time he hit me, he nearly killed me. I thought I was dead and glad to be free. I gathered the kids up and went to a refuge. He grabbed a crowbar and come after me. When I go out, I feel him behind me. Three times I've moved, he's found me again. If I kill myself, at least I'll die easy. At least I'll know why, at least I'll know when. The refuge is bare, the floors and walls echo. Nothing reminds me of comfort or home. But here I can sleep, and here I can hope. Here I have friends, I'm no longer alone. Present day hero. Sporting a pinstripe and wearing the regiment's tie Blood in his eye, the world on his shoulders Trims his moustache while he's dreaming of destiny's hour Greedy for power, ready to save the nation And lead us in the fight Never a doubt that everything he does is right National hero, neat little man who's been chosen by fate to redeem the national dream, imperial greatness. St. George with a briefcase is looking for dragons to slay, waits for the day we ask him to save the nation and lead us in the fight. Never a doubt that God is absolutely white. Classical hero, standing alone on the bridges defending the race, setting his face against the invader. Knowing the worth of a man can be seen by his skin, the killing begins. Determined to save the nation And lead us in the fight Never a doubt that virtue Is pure and blemished white
yesterday's hero Trapped in a bunker and died like a rat in a hole Ultimate goal of second-hand heroes Another one rises demanding the right to be heard And gets the bird History shrugs its shoulders Gives a big horse laugh And the cup price hero Ends up with the rest of the trash time you switch on the TV, you can bet your old boots that at some point you'll see a high-ranking copper or Tory MP, calling on all who are British and free to stand up and defend law and order. It's illegal to rip off a payroll, it's illegal to hold up a train. But it's legal to rip off a million or two That comes from the labor that other folk do To plunder the many on behalf of the few Is a thing that is perfectly legal 
It's illegal to kill off a landlord Or to trespass upon his estate But to charge a high rent for a slum is okay To condemn two adults and three children to stay In a hovel that's rotten with damp and decay Is a thing that is perfectly legal If your job turns you into a zombie It's legal to feel some despair But don't be aggressive, that is, if you're smart And for Christ's sake, don't upset the old apple cart Remember the boss has your interests at heart And it grieves him to see you unhappy If you fashion a bomb in the kitchen You're guilty of breaking the law But a bloody great nuclear plant is okay Though plutonium processing hastens the day When this tight little isle may be blasted away Nonetheless it is perfectly legal It's illegal if you are a gypsy To camp by the side of the road But it's proper and right for the rich and the great To live in the mansion and known an estate That was got from the people by pillage and rape That's what they call a tradition It's illegal to carve up your missus Or put poison in your homes But poison the rivers, the seas and the skies And poison the mind of the nation with lies If it's done in the interests of free enterprise Then it's proper and perfectly legal It's legal to join a trade union And to pick it is one of your rights But don't be offensive when scabs cross the line Be nice to the coppers and keep this in mind To pick it effectively, that is a crime Worse than if you had murdered your mother It's legal to sing on the telly But they make bloody sure that you don't If you sing about racists and fascists and creeps And thieves in high places who live off the weak And those who are selling us right up the creek The twisters, the takers, the con men, the fakers The whole bloody gang of exploiters First six days we lived in trees, we hunted, farmed, made bread and cheese. We forged and built white, black and brown, the kingdom of man in Eden's ground. And when we made our heaven and hell, on the seventh day we killed ourselves. On the first six days we fought with rocks, with slings and bows and firelocks. Eye for eye, pound for pound, we took our wars to another man's ground. On the seventh day our kith and kin welcomed the dread invader in. He has no sound, no sight, no smell, no reason at all on earth to dwell. He has no mind to call his own. His nature is made by man alone. Need a machine to know he's there. 
in wind and water, food or air. He does the work of coal and oil, but no one wants him on their soil. He is not made in nightly stealth. He's made to increase worldly wealth. And when his useful life is done, they'll pay the earth to see him gone. He comes by ship. He comes by plane, he comes in trucks, he comes on trains. We all take tablets every week in case they crash or they find a leak. The children know about spent fuel even before they go to school. Police and soldiers everywhere, you're never alone anywhere. They watch your post, they tap your phone, they check your past and they search your home. They give us a pass for bit us arms in case we mean the invader home. The invader lives where the jobs are few. He runs itself, little to do. Our men work there because it's near, replaced by the death rate every year. The poison gas is overhang, then blow away to another man's land. They pack him in to glass and steel and away in secret to conceal. In oceans, mountains, desert holes, as if they were hiding their own black souls. But someday, somewhere, he'll get out and bring his makers to account. On the seventh day, we've proved our worth as a nuclear dustbin for the earth. A fitting end to set the pace for a way of life that depends on waste. When our children's children bear the scar, they'll curse us for the fools we are. That's another day gone by, son, close your eyes. Now the moon is chasing clouds across the sky. Go to sleep and have no fear, son, for your mom and dad and his son. And the giant is just a shadow on the wall. Go to sleep and when you wake it will be light. There's no need to fear the darkness of the night. It's not like the dark you find, son, in the depths of some men's minds, son, that defies the daily coming of the dawn. Lie easy in your bed and grow up strong. You'll be needing all your strength before too long. For you'll soon be on your way, son, fighting battles every day, son, with an enemy who thinks he owns the world. Stop your crying now, let daddy dry your tears. There's no bogeyman to get you, never fear. 
There's no ogres, wicked witches, only greedy sons of bitches who are waiting to exploit your life away. Don't you let them buy you out or break your pride. Don't you let yourself be used, then cast aside. If you listen to their lying, they will con you into dying. You won't even know that you were once alive. No more talking now, it's time to go to sleep. There are answers to your questions, but they'll keep. Go on asking while you grow, son. Go on asking till you know, son. And then send the answers ringing through the world. Did you hear the wind that came in the night from the Northland? We have heard, we have heard. Did you hear the notes of the broken song of the wind from the Northland? We have heard, we have heard. Song of rust sung out of iron throats, the rattling bones lamenting flesh. Chattering teeth of guns saluting death, the crackling tongues of fire. Cadaverous choir of worms. Have you seen how the land was raped by the wind from the Northland? We have seen, we have seen. Have you seen the crops that were sown in the night by the wind from the Northland? We have seen, we have seen. The tortured land is lashed with iron rain, the shuffling reapers harvest chains. Skulls in the twisted trees are ripe with flame, whips bloom in the fields. The earth is fading prison. Have you known the sickness born on the wind from the Northland? We have known, we have known. Have you smelt the blood and known the hate that was born on the wind from the Northland? We have known, we have known. The white disease, the pestilence of greed, the carriers of the taking plague. Scavengers of the world condemned to feed on everything that lives and kill what they don't need.
What are their names? Who plundered the land and the people of Southern Africa? Who are the spoilers? Who owns the diamonds, uranium ore? Oh, 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 oh. Who takes the gold and the copper and coal, all the fruits of the earth? Oh, 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 oh. What are their names? What are their names? Foster and Fairfoot and Smuts, the unholy trinity. British investors, American, German, Belgian and French. Oh, 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 oh. General Motors and Barclays and Rio Tinto and Shell. Oh, 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 oh. These are their names. These are their names. The prophets of progress have come to Southern Africa. Bringing apartheid, guns of the past law, prisons and slums. Oh, 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 oh. Where is your daddy, son? Where has your daddy gone? Why doesn't he live at home? Why did he go away? Why does he stay away? Why does he leave you and your mammy alone? Maybe he's down a mine Or building a railway line Maybe he's hauling stone Maybe within a year they'll let him come back here Give him a permit to visit his home How will he know you, son? You've been a growing son He's been away so long So long since he's seen you they bulldozed our lean too, so how will they know where you've gone? How will you know him, son? You've been a growing son. He's been away so long. He's poor and he's black and the clothes on his back and the pass in his pocket is all that he owns. Maybe he'll never come, maybe he's on the run, maybe he's lost his path. Maybe he's gone to ground, hid in some shanty town, waiting to earn enough cash. Maybe they picked him up, questioned him, beat him up, then sent him on his way. Maybe they weren't satisfied, maybe they thought he lied, maybe they put him away. Maybe he got color blind, maybe he spoke his mind. Maybe he didn't stay clean. Maybe he saw the light. Better to stand and fight than live all your life on your knees. Maybe he's lying dead, hanged or shot through the head, killed in a prison cell. Maybe he's fighting back, gone over to the attack. Maybe he's learned to rebel. Where is your daddy, son? Where has your daddy?
gone. Why doesn't he live at home? He's learning to fight for all black people's rights, and he'll never let up till we've won. So it means end oppression. So it 